All right, so next morning, uh, just to recap, uh, I left the hot springs yesterday, couldn't find Tiger. Not sure if she's still there or if she went ahead. I got up early and just started hiking. Uh, I've had signal because we're right up against uh, civilization again. And uh, I texted her yesterday afternoon. I texted her last night, but she hasn't texted me back. So I'm guessing she might still be at the hot spring now. So she's either, either in front of me or behind me. I have no idea. But uh, the trail dropped me off on a dirt road last night. And the, the PCT markers got a little more sketchy. And then suddenly it wanted to put me on like a paved road. And I realized I have no idea where, where I'm going. It's hard to see the trail. I, got, I have an app that helps, but it's hard to camp randomly in civilization. You have to go back to the wilderness. So I decided to go back to the trail in the woods and, well, it's not woods, it's desert, and actually camp there last night. So that's what I did. So I'm up and I'm moving again. I got four miles to the water source I was trying to get to last night, but like, look where it dumped me off. So there's the marker for the PCT. I don't know what that stuff is over there. There's some giant pipes, like, and I can hear traffic going by pretty, pretty hard, or fast, I should say. So this is about to, from what I understand, it's supposed to dump me off on a highway. I didn't want to walk on a highway at night. So, cool. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, see. This is one of the few times I've been walking along the road as part of the Pacific Crest Trail. So I'm definitely glad I didn't do this last night. Because it was a little confusing. Like there were signs, but if you didn't if it wasn't light, it'd be really hard to see them. And now I'm just walking along a road. So fun times. Oh wow, I just came up on this lake. It's pretty beautiful. There's the Pacific Crest Trail sign. Oh, wow. Goes around the corner down there. So I'm pretty sure one of the stops that I'm heading towards is like a picnic table area in on Lakeside. So this must be it. So I'm not sure how many more miles. Gotta check my app. But I'm mostly here. Alright, so it looks like the trail is going around this lake. And uh, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but there's uh, one set of footprints that I've been following since the hot springs that are the same tread as roses. But that doesn't mean that they're roses footprints because I've noticed that a lot of people have her shoes. They're kind of popular. So that's probably why I didn't mention it yet. But it basically every now and then I see a track that looks like it could be her footprint. It's her size and her style, but that doesn't really mean anything. And since I got to this area with this lake, there's so many people walking back and forth on these trails that circle the lake. And it looks like this trail is gonna go all the way around. Uh, quite a detour. Uh, I, But I have just recently started seeing the footprint again every now and then. So she, uh, she could be in this direction, or I'm gonna meet somebody with the same shoes as her. <laughs> it really is a beautiful area. All right, I just stopped by the water source that I was trying to get to last night uh, and found a spigot, so I've now got plenty of water, which is great. Uh, also a trash can, which is a big deal. Uh, I actually have gone like, I don't know, four days without a trash can now. So it's nice to get rid of some wrappers and stuff. Uh, I ran into two women who are hikers. They said there were three of them. And, uh, none of them saw Tiger. And I asked about their shoes and none of them have shoes like Tiger's. 
So that's three set of tracks that I'm not going to see anymore that are not tiger and not covering whoever's footprints I'm following. I know I passed a lot of people in tents last night when I was night hiking. So I know, let's see, Major, there was a couple, I didn't get their name. There was Kyle, and there was Splash. All those people are behind me, so their footprints are not covering up whoever I'm following. <laughs> and uh, the only thing I can think of is, um, I know Andrew left before me yesterday morning, so he might have shoes like Tiger. And if that's the case, I'll never catch him because he does like 25 a day or something like that. Uh, but <laughs> hopefully it's not Andrew because <laughs> then I'll really be screwed. <laughs> uh, and I'm thinking that, yeah, if Tiger's still back at the spring, she might not have signal so she doesn't know that I'm even looking for her. She might actually think that I left her, which could be an unfortunate misunderstanding. So, we'll see. It looks like today, uh, the next water is 12 miles away. And it is going to be like a McDonald's and a Subway, which is really interesting. There's a bunch of dried up streams, but if, and then this McDonald's that everyone's excited about. So, uh, this hill is killing me. So yeah, after that, we'll see. So. I think it's about 8, 8.30 right now. And uh, I'm just gonna hike until it gets too hot and take a break. So aiming for McDonald's for, what is it, 12 miles, eight o'clock now. Whew. Yeah, that's probably not gonna be until dinner. It's probably gonna be get halfway, take a siesta, and then hike again when it's not so hot. So, all right. All right, so I made it to mile 342 today, uh, around five o'clock, and the McDonald's is here, which everyone was super excited to hike towards. And I've maybe met about 10 hikers who were here in the grass just chilling. Saw the Johnsons again, saw Andrew again. We see we saw Dreamcatcher, uh, Sandbag, uh, Splash, Kyle, and All Star. And none of them <laughs> have seen Tiger. Uh, and I noticed that Natalie Johnson uh, of the Johnsons said, or so I noticed that her shoes were the same as Tiger's. So I've been following her shoe prints. So best I can tell, Rose is probably still at the hot springs um, and doesn't have a signal. So when she gets into back into civilization, maybe I'll get some texts from her. We'll find out. Uh, in the meantime, a couple of us have decided to camp here tonight, like walk back to the trail, camp here tonight, come back to McDonald's and get breakfast, then start hiking. And I'm really excited about that plan. There might also be beers involved tonight, so we'll figure that out. 